What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel total technology zone this is tutorial 75 and today's topic will be how to create elastic search vector index using Langchain so this is very fascinating right so we wanna create Langchain sorry we wanna create vector index inside elastic search instance using Langchain utility so obviously there is a partnership between Langchain and elastic search so they have created uh, jointly one utility which is available um, from Langchain Elasticsearch uh, module, so we'll be going to use that. Okay, so what exactly we're gonna do? Uh, we'll be going to deploy a Elasticsearch cloud instance for free. Then we'll be going to get the API key from that cloud instance. We'll be going to get the cloud ID of that instance. We'll be going to write the code using Langchain Elasticsearch utility. And with the help of that code, we'll be going to create an index. Obviously, while creating that index, we'll be going to use Langchain Document Loader to load documents. And we'll be going to validate the index okay so that is what we're going to do here right so the codes are actually available in this link okay so don't worry about any anything uh, like the coding is not available or how we can go uh, get the code so all my tutorials are actually coming with code okay so with that note what i'll do i'm just going to minimize this thing and i'll be going to open my uh, vs code so basically if you say here i already created a document this is just basically i asked chat gpt to write a story about prince john so it is giving me this story now i'll be going to uh, uh, load this story as a vector uh, embedding inside the uh, elastic search instance okay now we'll be going to write the code okay so let's start writing the code but before writing the code what are you gonna do we'll be going to deploy a elastic search cloud okay so basically if you go to this link okay so elastic.co so we'll be going to get everything over here so basically i see add the link here okay so you have to actually go here and do it so just basically i have already uh, deployed the thing so what i'll do i'll be going to log in okay so if i click here uh, it is going to redirect me to the login page and i will be going to use this thing google and I'll be going to use my this account to log in. Okay. So I'm just doing the login. Okay, done. So so basically for the first time when you log in, it will ask you to actually select the region and it will deploy. So basically, if you see I already did the deployment. So basically, what you have to do, we have to click on this deployment. Okay, first click on manage and uh, okay, manage. So basically once you click on the manage it is going to give you this cloud id so just copy that cloud id and paste it here somewhere okay so here so i just paste it here this is the cloud id remember okay now we have to actually get the api key so basically now go back to cloud and click on this deployment name okay so guys before we you start this tutorial you should have a little bit idea about what is elastic search okay so if you are very new to elastic search or the, for the first time you are seeing this tutorial on elastic search then this is not the tutorial for you first you have to learn elastic search so basically you can imagine elastic search is a cloud service provider and they will help you to actually store manage your logs in terms of analytics or many other things right so you can scale your like log size and etc okay so and the, the query internal query for searching is very fast I'm not going to do the detail like analysis of elastic search is going to be a completely altogether different thing but I'm just trying to make this thing very simple whatever uh, definition I just give now for elastic search this is not the best one but I'm just trying to make this thing uh, very easy for the beginner to understand okay suppose you have an application and your application is actually being used by multiple uh, like customers like for example you developed a banking application now to uh, create the logging for that banking application which system using what what are the things that are happening in the back end how many apis are there the deployment uh, analytics maybe for that reason you can actually use elastic search means within your uh, like application server uh, you have to configure a couple of utilities like uh, log stash uh, uh, etc so basically what will happen whenever your application is getting access by the external user 
it will actually create a log in the system from that system it will be forwarded to the log stats and log stats will put it into the elastic search db and from the kibana we will be able to see it so this is kibana elastic search is actually processing the log and sending the log will be done by the log stats so basically it's a combination of three things but again all together different story i'm not going to do in that uh, those things in this uh, tutorial okay so next thing how to get the api key so basically if you go ahead there is something called stack management and inside that you have to click on api keys okay so just because i already created an api i'll be going to use that api key so once you click that api key you have to click on update api key okay and it is going to actually show you the updated key somewhere maybe uh, i don't know why this is not showing me the key here okay uh, okay just hold on uh, okay so it is not showing me the key so basically let me update the api key one more time okay so if you update the api key you won't be able to see it so what i'll do i'll be just going to create an api key user api key create api key it's done so basically i'll just give a name i'll make it yt so this is for youtube tutorial so youtube tutorial yt and create api key the moment you hit the api key so basically if you see created api key so you just copy this key and i paste it here okay because this will be used in few minutes okay done okay now let's start writing our code but before we write our code i want to show you uh, like how to actually check how many indexes are there so basically uh, just go here and go to develop dev tools okay and you have to click on you have to write this query get slash cat slash indices okay and i just make this thing like this okay so basically uh, if you say here these are the indexes the total 20 indexes are there right so we'll be going to create the index and we'll be going to check the value right okay so maybe just keep it like this now let's minimize this thing and start writing the code okay okay so first thing first what is actually going to happen uh, we'll be going to actually um, import couple of libraries so basically uh, first thing from langchain openai uh, import openai embeddings right so first i'll import that then from langchain elastic search so you have to uh, like install this module with pip installer pip install langchain underscore elastic search okay so then import elastic search store right so done then basically we have to actually load this documents load this documents we have to actually import a document loader from long langchain community dot doc document loaders import uh, import text i believe text loaders okay right and we have to actually split this thing so basically uh, we can actually write from from langchain underscore text splitters import character text splitter right done okay fine so now what we'll do we're just going to do loader loader is actually going to be text loader okay and inside the text loader what i'll be going to do i'll be just going to pass this path copy path okay that's it so just because I'm using a Windows machine, so in Windows I have to actually skip skip this uh, like escape this character. So that is why I'm just passing with the raw string R, okay? And then the docs will be loader dot load, okay? And I'll be just going to print the docs so that I will verify whether I'm able to read everything or not. So let's do it. If I'm able to get the things, it means my document is actually ready, uh, readily loaded here. Okay, so yeah, everything is loaded fine, no problem. So I don't need to actually print this line anymore. Now what will happen? We'll be going to actually do the remaining things. Okay, so first thing we'll be going to create a, a 
text splitter okay okay so it will be character text splitter right we'll be going to mention the chunk size so chunk underscore size let's say chunk size will be 500 right and ch will be chunk overlap is zero right done now what will be going to happen we'll be going to actually okay so what i'll do documents okay in the nts and here i'll be going to write docs equals to uh, text splitter dot split documents and there i'll be going to pass this documents right all done and then i'll be just going to print how many chunks are there so maybe i can just write length of docs so this will tell me how many docs are coming okay maybe two three will be coming it's a very small yeah nine is coming okay fine good so our chunking and document everything is done now what we'll be going to do we'll be going to create a variable called embeddings b d d i n g embedding equals to open ai embeddings done next thing i'll be going to do the actual work so basically we'll be going to create a vector store so basically elastic uh, elastic vector store okay that will be going to come from this module elastic search store from documents right like this so what are the things will be required here documents and embedding so basically let's pass the document first so it will be docs okay then what else is required we have to actually uh, pass the index name so what index i gonna create so index name so basically index name i'll be going to give tutorial 75 okay right then what is actually going to happen es api key es underscore api underscore key means elastic search api key so that will be going to come from here so basically cut and we're just going to paste it here and i just remove this thing okay this okay okay right so what else is pending uh, index is there okay embedding you have to actually mention the embedding so embedding equals to oh, embedding so basically embedding this embedding will come from this embedding right and the last thing i have to pass the cloud deployment id right so basically es underscore cloud underscore id so basically cloud id will be coming from here the first line so basically just copy the entire thing and cut and paste that's it right and you have to go here at the end and that's it so basically everything is done and we have to just print elastic vector store okay let's see so what will happen if i execute this thing it is going to create an index with this name tutorial 75 and there all this nine document will be stored as a vector embedding so basically i'll show you here i have total 20 index okay right now and let me execute this thing okay so let's execute so i have executed this thing so hopefully there won't be any error so if there is no error we'll be going to get a index with the name of tutorial 75 okay okay so i got this object here it means no error and it is created so what we'll do now first i will actually go and click on this link so basically if you see it is become 20 to 21 and this is my index and if it's green green means everything is fine and if you see here uh, uh, some information is actually given right so it is having 555 kb okay so all fine now what we'll do we'll be going to do a vector search so basically if you click here you have to go here in vector search okay and then what we do you have to go to this indices and there you'll be able to see your index tutorial 75 amazing right and if you see here document count is nine fascinating right so exactly the nine documents we actually sent okay now let's click on this thing here okay 
and if you click in the documents it will be able to show you what are the things are there so basically this is the first document second document and if you see this is the file right this is the file i receive right source and if you see the text the tale of prince john the prince john admirer everything is fine oh my god so this is really really amazing right okay so i hopefully you guys understood like how to use elastic search or elastic search instance to store uh, to store your data uh, as a vector embedding or how to use elastic search uh, as a vector database right with the help of lang chain so basically uh, elastic search is also a powerful tool which has its own capability of searching and you can do uh, like amazing things like if you're working for a client and if your client is interested to use elastic search maybe uh, you have to actually do little bit of coding so this is a tutorial guys as i told you or uh, in my tutorial i'll be going to actually make sure whatever possible in each and every aspect um, uh, whether it is like for a, for a student's project or whether it is going to be a freelance project or whether if you're going to work for a big shot company so all use cases i'll try to actually uh, incorporate or in this playlist so after a few months this tutorial will be um, like um, uh, more mature whenever you will uh, get some doubt or whenever you need some help you have to actually come to this playlist and tell me uh, sorry you have to actually get the solution okay so with that note i'll be just going to conclude the video over here but before i conclude i would like to request few things guys please try to subscribe to my channel if you like my videos if you uh, enjoying my uh, teaching please share my videos with your family and friend and try to uh, put some nice comments uh, good or bad doesn't matter but please try to put some honest feedback so that i will understand what are the things needs to be done in a better way or what could be done um, in the next videos i will try to uh, make sure i will uh, follow all all of your feedbacks right and last but not least uh, if you see i am uploading this videos regular basis my ultimate objective is actually to teach you uh, something valuable and to actually get some large number of audience from the like global uh, like point of view so that google will start promoting my videos i want to actually crack the google algorithm so please help me to actually grow my audience base by subscribing to my channel so that i will get uh, or I, um, I will get some more reachability or more discoverability with the help of google algorithm so please please do consider my request and try to subscribe to my channel okay with that note i'll be just going to conclude the video over here we'll be going to see you with a new video uh, in the upcoming days till then take care goodbye have a nice day happy learning